as our mainstay tree protection action. We find this all the time, and this is a classic case of what happens when you take dirt and pile it up over the collar of a tree, and it allows and invites the roots to grow along and strangle other roots. You'll see this is an anchor root here that has grown around this competing white oak tree here and has hugged it so hard that it has in fact buckled up part of what looks to be maybe one of its anchor roots that it squeezed gradually and all of this was under dirt until we excavated it and uh, at this point uh, there's no need to cut this loose and do any radical surgery because the solution would probably cause more problems than, um, than the condition itself. Uh, it looks like the anchor is still intact, it's still anchored here, it's still anchored here. Um, there is a, another really good example of what I'm talking about. If you look right over here, you'll see where this root has started to cut into this anchor. And if you look further down, I'm going to go uh, cross over in front, in front of you just a little bit. You'll see right here where this root right here has already cut into this anchor and has practically buried itself. And uh, this would be indicative of a prune that uh, would be necessary. Cut it right here. Cut this one right here and then just let the anchors assume their natural growth pattern, hopefully, because once again, anchors don't do anything to hold the tree up. And since this tree is right here at the entrance to this home and the driveway, we want to be sure that all the trees that uh, um, um, ornament this particular part of the property, this part of their designed ecosystem, uh, are safe and sound and can resist extreme weather events. And so uh, uh, girdling roots, while being a major problem, are not necessarily something that you need to go in and start whacking roots loose uh, um, without consideration for the long-term health of the tree because we want to save these trees. The owners have told us these trees are important to them and we'd like to keep them. And so you can see getting the dirt away exposing the areas, cutting the roots that are buried into the anchors will solve the problems and will give the owners a chance to look at, visually inspect, and make a risk evaluation on their own because it's their tree, their designed ecosystem, and the rules they make equal the savings they take, which means that they may or may not want to take this down and replace it. We've uh, been working on this tree for a few years, and as you can see, we've had to pull the mulch back uh, several times from when the landscapers come in and, and, and um, put it back in and here is an anchor root that has turned and it's not cutting in yet uh, there's one that will potentially have to prune away at some point uh, but once this dries out we'll come back on a return visit this part of the anchor is into the ground and if this part goes out uh, away from it and it looks like We've uh, gotten to this just in time to uh, save any stress on this part of the tree where this root's cut into it. We're going to cut it out. It'll be gone. Perfect example of how we can um, intervene with a visual inspection, a root collar excavation, and some uh, very uh, focused root pruning.